you hate cooking, you may never have to again. Thanks to this guy. This is the Molly Robotic Kitchen, a robot chef that hangs down over your oven and can cook you more than 5,000 different recipes. All you have to do is pick the dish you want to make on a touch screen, add the ingredients into built-in containers, and then wait until your meal is ready. This may sound like a dream because it pretty much is for the average person. Today, Molly costs a minimum of around $170,000. But for commercial businesses like restaurants and hotels, a robotic kitchen could be a massive money saver. And one Israeli company has created a mainstream solution. This is Bistro. Bistro is not designed for homes. Mm -hmm. It's approximately two by three meters, and it can even fit on the back of a food truck. We can run up to four dishes simultaneously and up to 60 dishes per hour. So if I want Bistro to make something for me, mm -hmm. how does it work? So it's super simple. We have an online uh, software platform. You can just click, you know, right, right. here, right now. Uh, we'll be preparing pad thai and an Italian dish, pasta alfredo. You mm -hmm. can choose both of them. And all of these dishes are pre-prepared. How does that work? So a restaurant operator decides the menu for the day. He can mm -hmm. run multiple menus at the same time. For example, we've run uh, Cuban dishes side by side with Italian dishes and salads. To make this happen, at the beginning of the day, the one single operator running the bistro robot has to put all the ingredients on that day's menu into these containers. Then, once an order comes in, all of the ingredients needed are dispensed accordingly. So it's making the uh, pasta alfredo? Yeah, correct. And it's dispensing the fresh mushrooms, which are going to probably be saute just a little bit before uh, the full round of cooking. We have some nice penne pasta uh, being dispensed right now. So once I put the order in, how long is it going to take for Bistro to actually make the dish? So an average dish time is between two to four minutes depending on complexity. When a dish is ready, it rolls down here where the one single operator that runs this entire Bistro machine um, packages it for takeaway. Yeah, because that employee does need something to do at the end of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. You, my friend, are packaging for us today, right? At the end of this, who's washing the dishes? No one washes dishes. Bistro washes the dishes. Because Bistro only requires one operator, it's able to replace the work of three to four kitchen staff. This majorly cuts down on labor costs for restaurant owners. But beyond that, Bistro is so efficient that it also cuts down on food waste in the kitchen and makes sure that customers receive dishes without any mistakes. Up to 30% of food is wasted before it even meets the consumer. And with Bistro, every single dish comes out exactly the same, time after time. Once you, once you, the chef, are pleased with the recipe, it will keep making that same recipe. No mistakes, no errors, no food waste. It smells so good. I wish that you could smell the screen, but the question is whether or not, you know, it lives up to the taste check. All right, my friends. That tastes like pasta alfredo to me. If I received this, I would have no idea that it wasn't made by a human. Well, no, I want one of these things in my house. Tell me where I can sign up. Today, restaurants around the world are already employing robotic chefs. And the global robotics market is estimated to reach more than $74 billion by 2026. In a world where cost often dictates choice, kitchens could soon look a lot different. But the question is, will they ever truly be able to replicate the special touch of a chef? Only time will tell. One.